As you may know, over the past few months I've gone a little bit crazy with Pokemon card collecting, but as of this moment I've never actually completed a full set. With the most recent set, Sun and Moon Base having the most secret rares of any set in existence, it got me thinking, just how much would it cost to complete this monster of a set? So today's video is going to be crunching some numbers and finding out just how much it would cost to complete Pokemon Sun and Moon Base set. I'll be calculating the rough prices in pounds and dollars. So the vast majority of the set is made up of commons, uncommons, and regular rare cards. I would say that your best bet would be to go straight for a booster box to start off. Their prices can vary, but from what I've seen, they can go for around $85 to $90 and around $85 to £90. Pounds. If you're in the UK like me, then you have drawn the short straw, because sealed Pokemon card products and singles are a lot pricier. Anyway, this pretty much guarantees that you'll pull all of the commons, uncommons, and regular rares in the set. You'll also get tons of reverse hollows, and going by most box ratios, you'll get 6 hollows. It is possible to get 5, but 6 is more common. Four regular GX cards, one full art Pokemon GX, one secret rare, be it a rainbow rare, trainer, or energy card, and the chance to get a full art supporter. While it is true that not all boxes have secret rare cards in them, I'd say around 80 to 90 percent of them do, so let's just leave it there. But with the cards that you pulled from the box, it'll probably be cheapest to buy singles from here on out. Buying the cards directly is the cheapest way to complete the set because while you could buy more boxes, you will more than likely end up with a lot of duplicates. Just look at me and my six Espeon GX. It's up to you where you buy them from. If you are from the US, then you can get cheaper deals on eBay sometimes, but some online retailers will have good prices too. For UK people, you're probably gonna have to go with eBay because at least from my experience, the listings for singles from online retailers are seriously overpriced a lot of the time. Sometimes you can get better deals from online retailers, but this is most often not the case. Anyway, let's start with holo cards. If you got 6 holos from your booster box, which you probably did, then you'll be missing 10 more. They average out at around 150 in both pounds and dollars, so that would be a straight 15 to complete the entire holo set. Nice. On to GXs. Sun and Moon Base Set has 11 GX cards, the most expensive being Decidueye for around £11 or $13, and the least expensive being Gumshoes for around £3 and dollars. By the way, my figures do not represent the exchange rate, but rather the actual figures that I've seen while looking online, and there are only averages too. Say for example, Gumshoes is listed at only $1.49 on Dariums, but it consistently sells for anywhere between 2 and 5 on eBay, so I just go for a general average. There is a pretty big range in prices for GXs, but after spending a a lot of time looking at sold eBay listings in various online retailers both in the UK and the US, I came up with averages for each. Lurantis goes for £7 and dollars, Incineroar goes for £6.50 and dollars, Lapras goes for £5 and $3.50, Primarina goes for £5 and $4.50, Espeon for £6 and $4.50, Lunala for £6 and $5.50, Umbreon for £8 and $7, Solgaleo for £8 and $8, and Tauros for £5.50 and $5. Assuming that you got 4 GXs from your booster box, that means that you will be missing 7. There's no way to tell which GXs you'd be missing, so I've come up with an average GX price overall, which would be £6.45 or $5.72. Anyhow, multiply that by 7 and it should mean that it will take you an average of £45.15 or $40.04 to complete the regular GX section of the set after buying a booster box. Please do note again that these are only averages I've come up with. On eBay, single cards can sometimes sell for several dollars below or above this average, so if you keep your eyes peeled then you could catch a good deal for less. Yes. Now we'll go on to GX Full Arts. There are fewer of these, with 8. It comes as no surprise that Gumshoes is the least valuable at £6 and $4.50. I found the most valuable to be Solgaleo, at £13.50 and $11, closely followed by Umbreon at £12.50 and $11. As for the rest, there's Lurantis at £10.50 and $10, Lapras at £8 and $6, Espeon at £11.50 and $8.50, Lunala at £11 and $8.50, and Tauros at £9.50 and $8.00. You more than likely won't get more than one full-up Pokemon GX from your booster box, so that leaves 7 missing. My overall average for GX full arts would be £10.31, or $8.43. Multiply that by 7 and it means that on average it should take £72.17, or $59.01 to complete the full art GX section after buying a booster box. The next cards in the set would be the full art supporters. I'd say that these tend to be found around 50% of the time in booster boxes, but let's say for our example the booster box that we got before didn't have one. There are 4 of these full art supporters. Supporters. It comes as no surprise that the most valuable is Lily, coming in at £17.50 in both pounds and dollars. The least expensive would be Ilima, which goes for £8.50 and around $6. Team Skullgrunt goes for £8 or $7. 
and Professor Kukui goes for around £10 and dollars. Now assuming that you didn't get any of these in the box, this means that it will cost an extra £44 or $40.05 to complete the full art support as part of the set, with each card averaging £11 or $10.13. If you get lucky, then you may only end up having to buy three, which is great, but these figures are just for this one example. Now we're on to Rainbow Rares, which are new to Sun and Moon sets. They are secret rares in the sense that they're outside the set, but they're pretty much just rainbow versions of the full art speech within the set, but they go for so much more, so prepare to have your wallet hurt a lot. The most expensive is Solgaleo, coming in at around £25 or $27, and the least expensive is Gumshoes yet again, at £13 or $10. Lorantis goes for a respectable £21 or $17, and Lapras is £18 or $15. Espeon goes for £21 or $20, as does Lunala. Umbreon is £23 or $24, and finally, Tauros can go for £17 or $16. Considering their secret rares, the price of each card isn't terrible, but when there are 8 of them, it adds up. Their collective value is roughly £159 or $149, and each one costs an average of £19.88 or $18.63. Now, for this example, we're going to say that the booster box contained one rainbow rare, which would mean that you'd only need to buy the other seven, for a rough total of £139.12, or $130.37. And finally, we have the secret rares. Now, this is the most difficult section to calculate because of one card, which we will see in a moment. There are six secret rares in Sunday and Moon, with 4 trainers and 2 energies. The first secret rare would be Nest Ball, which is £22.50 or $20.50. Rotom Dex is £13 or $10, Switch is £16.50 or $14, and then there's Ultra Ball. Oh, Ultra Ball. This card is the most valuable in the entire set by quite a long way, but just how valuable. The Ultra Ball is worth around £70 and $85. This one card is worth a similar amount to all of the GXs put together, more than all of the full art supporters put together, and nearly three times as much as the second most valuable card in the set. Anyway, on to the last two secret rares. Psychic Energy goes for around £20 or $18, while Metal Energy is worth £21.50 or $18.50. All of these secret rares total up to £163.50 or $166, and average out at £27.25 or $27.67 per card. However, this part is what makes the total so difficult to figure out, because whether or not you pull the Ultra Ball in your box can make a huge difference, making it something like $60 cheaper to complete the whole set if you're lucky enough. Brendan and I, for example, got extremely lucky. Brendan got one in his very first box, and I got one in my second. If you pull one, then you pretty much got the value of the entire box right there in one card, and that's discounting all of your other good pulls. With this section, I especially have to say that these averages are to be taken with a little grain of salt, seeing as the only card that's even equal to the average average or above is the Ultra Ball. The thing's so valuable it brings up the average section for these secret rares up by a ton. But with all of this said, I think it's time to calculate the total cost for the entire set. First, there's the cost of the booster box to complete the commons, uncommons, and regular rares portion of the set, which would cost around 85 to 90 in pounds and dollars. But let's just call it 87.50 here. For this example, I'm going to say that the box contained a random assortment of 6 hollows, 4 regular GX cards, 1 full art GX, and 1 rainbow rare GX. Picking up the remaining 10 hollows adds another £15 in dollars to the total, which is now 102.5 in both currencies. The 7 missing regular GXs will cost an average £45.15, or $40.40, with the total now being £147.15, or $142.09. The missing 7 full art GX cards will add an average of £72.12, or $59.01. Running total is now £219.27, or 200 $1.91. The four missing full art supporters will add £44, or $40.05, putting the total up to £263.27, or $241.96. The seven missing rainbow rares will cost £139.12, or $130.37 on average. Running total is now £402.39, or $372.33. And finally, the secret rares add a massive $160. £63.50 or $166, bringing the final total up to £565.89 or $538.33. But there is one more optional part of the set to complete if you want a true master set. Every non ultra rare card has a reverse hollow form. With the booster box, you should get 38 unique reverses, which leaves exactly 90 more out of 126 to get. I say should, because
because in the research I've done, I haven't really seen any duplicate reverses from a box, but I'm not 100% sure. If you guess any duplicates, then I doubt that they will go past being on one hand. Now here, I am going to say leave eBay well alone. The lowest price a listing can even have here is 99 pence or cents, and a lot of the reverses are not worth that, so this is where I'm going to say that online retailers are the better option. There are a bunch of sites that you can go to. For the UK, there's Magic Madhouse or Chaos Cards, and for the US, there's Troll and Toad. It will average out to maybe 45 cents or 50 pence each. On Troll and Toad, you can get them all for under a dollar, but on the UK sites, there are certain reverses that are listed at over two pounds a piece, so going over to eBay to try and get it cheaper wouldn't be a terrible idea. Of course, the total cost will depend on what you pulled from the box in the first place, but I would estimate it to be a further 45 pounds or $40.50. So the final master set total comes to £610.89 or $578.83. And when you convert using the exchange rate, again, it means that it really sucks to be a card collector in the UK. Funnily enough, during this process I came across a few listings for master sets on eBay, but how close do they come to my estimate? Well, there's £700, $725, $699, and $689. These may all seem like bad deals considering they're over the estimate I came up with, but 3 out of 4 of these are actually cheaper than my estimate in pounds, admittedly because they're all in the States. Even though these listings are more expensive than the value of the individual cards in the US, I'd still say that they're good value because of the convenience. You can spend your time trying to track down every single ultra and reverse out there for a good price and tear your hair out in the process, but these listings let you get the whole set in one click, which I would say is very valuable time-wise, but it's your choice. But that just about answers the question, how much would it cost to complete Pokemon Sun and Moon base set? Please do understand that the figures I've come up with are estimates and would likely not represent the exact value if you try and complete the set yourself. There are so many variables that come into play. What cards you get in your booster box can have a huge impact. Booster boxes seem to be changing in terms of Ultra Air Pulse too, so I can't guarantee that the example would reflect the newer ones perfectly. The majority of Sun and Moon boxes that have been made have a similar ratio to what I used in my example, so I thought that it would be the most accurate. Prices of cards can fluctuate a lot too, and the averages I came up with reflect the research I did earlier this week. You may be able to snag some crazy good deals and bring the total cost right down, but the average is what it is. Also know that this number doesn't take any possible shipping costs into account because it can vary from seller to seller, and sometimes you can even get it for free anyway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of research went into this, so if you enjoyed it, then please let me know. If you did, then maybe I'll consider doing a video like this again once Guardians Rising is released. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!